Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 3rd, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico. AA thoughts for the day. Dry. Sometimes we become depressed. I ought to know. I have been a champion dry bender case myself. While the surface causes were a part of the picture, trigger events that precipitated depression, the underlying causes, I am satisfied, ran much deeper. Intellectually, I could accept my situation. Emotionally, I could not. To those problems, there are certainly no pat answers. But part of the answer lies in the constant effort to practice all of AA's 12 steps, as Bill sees it, page 30. Thought to consider, the 12 steps are but suggestions, as is pulling the ripcord on a parachute. Acronyms, dry, doing recovery yourself. Just for today, at peace from on the move. Like everyone else, I have good days and bad days. Unlike my attitude while I was still drinking, however, I rarely dread what is going to happen to me today. I have even had the chance to see my father come into AA. We have been to numerous AA conventions together and have shared more with each other in the past few years than we ever had before. I think we are both at peace with our pasts and comfortable with the present. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 493. Daily Reflections Building a New Life We feel a man is unthinking when he says sobriety is enough. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 82 When I reflect on step 9, I see that physical sobriety must be enough for me. I need to remember the hopelessness I felt before I found sobriety and how I was willing to go to any lengths for it. Physical sobriety is not enough for those around me, however since I must see that God's gift is used to build a new life for my family and loved ones. Just as importantly, I must be available to help others who want the AA way of life. I ask God to help me share the gift of sobriety so that its benefits may be shown to those I know and love. As Bill sees it, instinct to live. When men and women pour so much alcohol into themselves that they destroy their lives, they commit a most unnatural act. Defying their distinctive desire for self-preservation, they seem bent upon self-destruction. They work against their own deepest instinct. As they are progressively humbled by the terrific beating administered by alcohol, the grace of God can enter them and expel their obsession. Here their powerful instinct to live can cooperate fully with their creator's desire to give them new life. The central characteristic of the spiritual experience is that it gives the recipient a new and better motivation out of all proportion to any process of discipline, belief, or faith. These experiences cannot make us whole at once. They are a rebirth to a fresh and certain opportunity. 12 and 12, page 64. Letter, 1965. Big Book Quote Much to our relief, we discovered that we did not need to consider another's conception of God. Our own conception, however inadequate, was sufficient to make the approach and to effect a contact with Him. As soon as we admitted the possible existence of a creative intelligence, a spirit of the universe underlying the totality of things, we began to be possessed of a new sense of power and direction, provided we took other simple steps. Alcoholics Anonymous, We Agnostics, page 46. 24 hours a day. AA, thought for the day. Offer new prospects, friendship, and fellowship. Tell them that if they want to get well, you will do anything to help. Burn the idea into the consciousness of new prospects that they can get well, regardless of anyone else. Job or no job, spouse or no spouse, They cannot stop drinking as long as they place dependence on other people ahead of dependence on God. Let no alcoholic say they cannot recover unless they have their family back. This just isn't so. Their recovery is not dependent upon other people. It is dependent on their own relationship to God. 
Can I recognize all excuses made by a prospect? Meditation for the day. The spiritual life depends upon the unseen. To live the spiritual life, you must believe in the unseen. Try not to lose the consciousness of God's Spirit in you and in others. As a child in its mother's arms, stay sheltered in the understanding and love of God. God will relieve you of the weight of worry and care, misery and depression, want and woe, faintness and heartache, if you will let Him. Lift up your eyes from earth's troubles and view the glory of the unseen God. Each day, try to see more good in people, more of the unseen in the seen. Prayer for the Day I pray that I may rest and abide in the presence of the unseen God. I pray that I may leave my burden in His care. Hazelton Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.